that is the SUV, and you know, they must know we're watching. They actually just started almost behaving themselves, driving much slower at this moment. Now we are southbound La Crescenta from Mountain. That was the last major. Definitely in the Glendale area. You can see it's LAPD. They are in pursuit. They have let Glendale know. There's a Glendale PD vehicle right there. They have let them know that they are out here. Now these, the want for this person that is running from officers, and there may be up to three people inside this vehicle. Uh, the want right now is they're saying robbery. Uh, that's that's the original want. Don't know how they, if somebody witnessed it or how it all came to be, but that vehicle at one point driving the wrong way on the freeway, extremely high speeds, wrong way on the streets as well, meaning driving into oncoming traffic. Right now though, all of a sudden driving actually kind of sane, just moving at about 30, 40 miles an hour. Even the uh, helicopter overhead, the LAPD helicopter overhead, giving the units on the ground heads up saying that, you know what, this change in behavior, they might be looking for a place to jump out of the vehicle. Now we do know the driver, possibly two other people inside that vehicle, original one, some sort of robbery situation. Not sure if they were undercover. They were being watched by undercovers. But this vehicle this afternoon driving extremely fast and reckless. And it does seem like things are starting to pick up once again as we're continuing southbound on La Crescenta well into the Glendale area right now. Yeah, I can see from the windshield, through the windshield, that the passenger is moving oh. around. Um, a lot. Mm -hmm. That was a close call, wasn't it? it? Went through that intersection. Very close call. And Stu, you said this uh, this driver was going the wrong way on the freeway. Wrong way on the freeway at one time on the 210 near Pennsylvania. Wow. You know, the one thing, anybody that drives in the Glendale area, beautiful city, a lot of history out there, smaller roads, very tight areas out here, very congested almost all of the mm. time. And you can see this happening right now. These smaller streets out here, that vehicle maybe not blending in, but at one point you saw it making these wide turns. There we go, wrong yeah, side of the road the street, once again, yeah. passing across that center, uh, center line. You got more officers in the area. Now, Glendale PD might not just take this over. They may, they may not. Oh, look at these Ooh. crazy moves. You just gotta, you just gotta be thankful for that one officer, two officers now right behind them, LAPD. Probably lights and sirens going, at least giving folks heads up on these intersections as he's running stale reds. Now, when they say stale red, meaning the light's been red for a moment or two, meaning other traffic might be coming. Uh, right now, continuing, we're still basically in a southbound direction. Robbery. This is the general area where this pursuit started. It was started oh. over by the five and the two. That's where we were first getting wind of this going on. So it made its way north up on the two, onto the 210, La Crescenta area, crazy driving out there. And then now oh, in the Glendale area, Whoa, oh, look at that. Whoa. Made a sharp turn right there. LAPD actually also making those moves right behind that vehicle. Uh, 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 so they really are trying to warn the public. They want this to come to an end. Possibly they're robbery suspects. That does, We don't know if there's weapons in that vehicle, but right now, definitely established in the Glendale area, LAPD handling this pursuit. Well, we seem to have lost uh, Stu Mundell, but we will, we will get him back in just a moment. You are uh, watching a pursuit happening mm -hmm. in the Glendale La Crescenta area. Mm -hmm. And there you see that white SUV there. Police are in hot pursuit of that car uh, that's been driving extremely danger uh, dangerously it. and erratically. Uh, slow speeds on the surface, uh, on surface streets right now. But um, apparently there might be three suspects in that car wanted for robbery. And apparently this started on the five and the two, Stu was telling us. He also did say that this uh, driver was going the wrong way on the 210 at times. We've seen him do erratic moves on yeah, these one. streets in Glendale. Sometimes yeah. uh, he passed that. Yeah. Um, it looked like a person who was walking on the street and he just passed by him really fast. It's He's really dangerous. Very dangerous moves out here. Sharp turns and yeah. apparently wanted for some sort of robbery. It'd be interesting to know if this was a robbery at a... Uh, Stu, do you know if this was a robbery at a home or a business? Do we know anything more about the robbery? No, the, the, you know, they don't give those types of specifics mm -hmm. uh, when they're calling these things out. They were just giving out codes. The code is robbery. Okay. Uh, but it doesn't say if it's a residential robbery or a, uh, uh, of, a, of a, maybe a store. Mm -hmm. They don't say anything like that. I can tell you right now, we're southbound Adams from Colorado, picking up a little bit of speed yeah. out yeah. here. Very residential neighborhood. You can see how close he's coming to other vehicles. Back on the wrong side of the road to avoid another car. Basically driving. Coming up to another stop sign. Ooh. 
and, and, and right there, just passing Chevy Chase is what I heard, or coming up to, coming up to Chevy Chase, making the turn on Chevy Chase. Uh, back, uh, but we're, so we're basically working our way back into the LAPD area, but he's kind of taking that roundabout way. Don't think he's concerned about what town he's in right now, no. but right now moving very quickly at some points, but apparently from what we're hearing, according to LAPD, actually more subdued than he was earlier on. We're in the area of the two, another left turn turn. Mm -hmm. Moving on, into, a back into a residential neighborhood yeah. out here. Uh, so is staying in that neighborhood possibly knows this area. I don't I couldn't even begin to guess But right now slowing a little bit some folks out there on the road very residential neighborhood And we just continue to watch this very dangerous chase LAPD behind him on the ground over him in the air And it's uh, still making its way through this area out here even uh, sky nine doing little pirouettes out here this afternoon mm -hmm. Trying to uh, keep up back on the Chevy Chase basically back ba basically back the way we came. Now we're westbound on Chevy Chase. Stu, how fast do you think he's going on these residential streets? I would have to guess about 40, 45 Ooh. on the residentials. Right he now he's actually speed, speeding Stu. up. Wrong, yeah, side, of wrong road, side of the road. Higher speeds. You can Ooh. see him just kind of back and forth. You just go, oh, oh, so, so close. Uh, and look at this He's is what we were talking now. about earlier on. These higher speeds, mm -hmm. uh, very dangerous situation indeed. You got uh, looks like an LAPD officer. Mm -hmm. Back to southbound on Brand. I believe we're southbound on Brand from Chevy Chase. Uh, again, this is Glendale. Uh, they, so they do know, uh, and I'm sorry, the street is Glendale. And uh, this is in the city of Glendale. LAPD in pursuit, dangerous suspects, very high speeds. You and saw you it, that momentary burst right there. Apparently that was going on for a lot longer uh, just before we got here. Right now, you can see this vehicle still moving very fast, very tight roads out here, very narrow streets. Residents, this is a very residential area. And on Glendale, southbound from Chevy Chase, we've been moving pretty quickly. Uh, we'll mm -hmm. get you another major as soon as he passes it. Hopefully this ends very peacefully. Right now, possibly three people inside that vehicle. Possibly LAPD armed really too, right? really want this just to come to an end. Well, they just said robbery. We okay. haven't heard the uh, we haven't heard the arm part yet. Okay. But if the desk has more information, uh, south, southbound San Fernando. So we're actually starting to get back into the LAPD area. That doesn't mean more units are going to get involved, uh, but it might it might uh, have other officers in the area from the LAPD if if this comes to Ooh, an end when a, this comes to an end a little bit of squeezing through yeah, there squeezing through he's going to try to get away no no matter uh, what it takes mm -hmm. he's right, right now in the, in the center no, and he's no, picked no, up no, speed no, a lot of no. speed oh this is this so is not good this is so not good not good at all. You can see those other cars just moving right by him out there as we're tracking that vehicle. Center lane, San Fernando oh, Road, going against lane. traffic again right there. And this is the time these streets are whoop, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. onto the sidewalk, onto the sidewalk. Thank <sighs> goodness there was nobody out there. Uh, and it's this type of behavior. They want this guy to come to an end. They want this guy. They want this to come to an end. They want this vehicle to stop. Uh, Stu, how close is the LAPD the, at this the, the point? One. Right behind him. Very. And, you close. know, right now, lights and sirens. That is that is that is a valuable thing. At least it's giving a lot of folks heads up that something might be happening. Yeah, this guy. Uh, southbound San Fernando. This guy's uh, driving so erratically. How do you? Well, oh, there he goes. How do you stop someone like this? I guess you just you, know, you just that, chase them until they <laughs> slow down or decide to get a run, okay. make a run for it. You know what? That is that is the miracle question. Everybody's always asking it. Uh, you know, you, you can't do it. You obviously can't use a pit maneuver, uh, possibly spike strips. But how do you get in front of the vehicle moving this quickly? So right now, uh, tracking mode was initiated earlier on. <clears throat> and, and coming back, we're on to the two. Uh, five south is what I'm hearing from uh for my pilot, but the LAPD talking about the two freeway. So we'll keep an eye on it right now. Uh, but this vehicle moving very quickly, getting a little pushy out here when there's traffic. And that is just not good. Uh, I know there's a tunnel right there. We'll see him pop out right over here. Hopefully there he is. And uh, 
established onto the southbound five or will establish. He could might be able to take an off ramp. I think uh, Stadium is coming up over here as well. But this is the general area where it started. So this might be an area that he's familiar with. Look at that. Uh, it just getting so close to all these vehicles. All right. Um, this is Sharon Tay along with Crystal Cruz. And welcome to KCAL 9. This is Sharon Tay along with Crystal Cruz. Welcome to KCAL 9 News at 4 o'clock. We are watching some breaking news happening in Glendale, a pursuit that's uh, in progress. And for our CBS 2 News viewers, we welcome you as well. Yes, indeed. We are following this pursuit. It has been uh, going on for quite some time. It is a very dangerous pursuit mm -hmm. of robbery suspects. And Stu Mandel is uh, overhead for us, and he's been watching this whole thing. And Stu, you were telling us when this first started, this guy was driving so erratic. He was. We've seen him on the wrong side at times of the roads and also on the 210 freeway, you said. On the 210 freeway, driving against traffic on the 210, he actually made that a U-turn on the 210 mm -hmm. to correct wow. that. That was over by Pennsylvania. Uh, right now, though, we are basically Elysian Park. I'm just like, we are Elysian Park. I can see the stadium right next to us. I believe we're on Glendale Boulevard. He just got off the southbound 5 freeway. Now, this road right now, wide open. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of roads out here in this area, wide open. Uh, he's been taking advantage of those high speeds, but it, it isn't going to get him anywhere. You've got the helicopter overhead. You've got the officers on the ground. Uh, back in the LAPD area right now, so that means other officers are going to probably be, if they are available, they will be nearby. They might not be jumping into that pursuit, but they're going to make themselves conveniently available Stu, in the neighborhood if something should happen. Isn't Wrong the, side of the road as he's making that sweeping turn. Go ahead, go ahead. Isn't the LAPD a police academy nearby? It is close by. Don't know if we're actually going to go by it, uh -huh. but or, uh, but yes, uh, we're definitely very close to Dodger Stadium, and that means we are close to the actual LAPD yeah, academy and, as and well. And you're right, those streets are, are wide open because hardly anyone travels those streets. Yeah, it looks like we're actually on Academy Way right uh -huh. now and uh, working his way. If you know that parking lot, you, you know, uh, you know, oh, L.A. You uh, it, it's getting very close to Dodger Stadium. I was kind of wondering maybe he was going to go through there. Uh, right now, though, staying on the main streets, you can see uh, no other vehicles. That's the first plus out here. And perhaps, perhaps they will uh, try to do something in this type of wide open area. Yeah, this but would be these a, high speeds. This would be a great place to do a pit maneuver if they can get close mm -hmm. to him if they can get close to him and there's nobody else around. Those right. are the two things. You have to worry about, about the safety factor. Right now, this is a big sweeping turn. I know it brings us back out onto sunset if we keep driving this way. So it's going to start getting crowded. Yeah, I'm yeah. getting a little bit wider because you can see other officers that are conveniently in the area. And uh, making that turn right there. Uh, Elysian Park, that's where we are. We'll get you some streets as soon as I get to securely say where we are. But again, Approaching the 110 freeway, not taking it. No, he's going to. And uh, he's it seems like he's slowing, it, slowing it down just a little bit. Did you say Sunset Bo uh, Sunstra Sunset Boulevard? Is that is that the street he's on? Well, I thought we were going to pop okay. out on the. No, no, I said he might pop out on oh, the sunset. Okay. Looks like we're heading our way basically over maybe towards Broadway or uh, Figueroa. And Stu, have we seen any passenger action? <laughs> <laughs> I've been just trying to keep up with the car. I haven't really yeah, been able I, to uh, I spend see. that time to peek inside the windows. Well, sometimes those tinted these, windows are make it very difficult. Is sometimes during these pursuits, they'll roll down the window yeah. and throw stuff mm -hmm. out of the car for whatever reason. But I haven't seen any of that. The, the windows are, are tinted very dark, and it looks mm. from the ooh, that was very close. It looks from the uh, windshield that, that they're moving around in the car a lot, probably scrambling but, to figure yeah, out what the, to do. You know, I always wondered what those conversations are inside yeah, that yeah, vehicle. Yeah. If, they, if they're egging them on or if they're saying, hey, maybe we should slow this down. You, you know? would think they'd be telling uh, them because to slow down. <laughs> yeah, you'd, you'd be hoping that's what was going on. <laughs> uh, right now, though, those tinted windows, officers can't see in there. We mm -hmm. can't see in there. We were peeking in that front window earlier on. Uh, the, the report was that possibly three people inside that vehicle. So two passengers, maybe. Uh, the driver, they, they, you know, they, they were giving a... So we're southbound Broadway right now through Bernard. Uh, so we're making our way out of the Elysian Park area. We're going to start making our way into the uh, Chinatown area. A lot of cross traffic. Mm -hmm. And you can see it's going to start getting a little bit more packed yeah. as we work our way towards downtown Los Angeles. 
Uh, right now, though, this vehicle's relatively slower. LAPD mm -hmm. right behind them. Dangerous suspects inside that vehicle. Uh, LAPD not giving this up. They've, uh, they have they were in uh, surveillance mode for just a short amount of time. But that high that high speeds, those dangerous moves, they decided to keep those officers as close by as, can, as they can and with the lights and sirens going. Yeah, this is where the 110 and 101 kind of uh, meet. They're in Chinatown oh, yeah. right now. Mm -hmm. So they've they've decided yep. to stay on surface Cesar streets and, and avoid, uh, they're on Cesar Chavez, avoiding the freeway altogether because that area point, is so congested. And Stu, in your experience, when they're in a congested area, do they stay close to the person trying to get away from them or give them a little space? Uh, you know what, the LAPD, I'm not, I'm not versed in their policies at all. I can tell you this afternoon, those officers that are right behind them, the vehicles that have pretty much been there from the, from the inception of this pursuit, mm -hmm. have been doing a fabulous job staying safe, staying close, and uh, keeping that vehicle nearby or close by enough where they can keep an eye on it and at least try to warn the public. Using that center lane again, Cesar Chavez, we're right by Men's Central Jail. Actually, he's making the turn away from there. I have a feeling that he's going to be spending some time there shortly. Yeah. Yeah. Right now, though, he's making his way back over towards the, uh, towards the freeway. Will he get on the freeway? Oh, I, who knows? Looks like he wants to make a turn. Yeah, that looks like that would have taken him into Union Station. Oh, uh, maybe he's trying to make a plan to maybe get into a parking garage. We've seen him in the past, but with those officers so close by, that road okay, basically yeah. pushing him back onto the 101 freeway. Now we're on the 101 freeway northbound, just in the downtown area. A lot of traffic. We're going to mm -hmm. keep an eye on him up here. Up speed and uh, it's starting to really move up speed again. But look, whoop, whoop, whoa, 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 whoa. a little fishtailing right yeah. there on the freeway. So he was, he was hitting that brake hard right there and steering. So passing Alameda right now, 101 northbound, uh, LAPD mm -hmm. in pursuit, oh, helicopter overhead, not just us, but LAPD. Yeah, and look at the traffic this afternoon. Yeah, Crystal yeah. was right. That traffic is going to, it's literally stop and go in that yeah. area. It'll, it'll be interesting to thick. see, it'll be interesting to see oh. what he does and he just, uh, what is that? He's going, oh, he's going he's the wrong way. way. He's getting on. He's going, the, he's going, he's going oh off on an on-ramp yes, out here. Dangerous. LAPD, you saw them. They had their doors open. They were that ready to do this. Look at these people. Oh my They're gosh. just getting on the freeway and probably going, what is going on here? Uh, back onto Alameda. We're right in front of Union Station. Again, with the high speeds. And, and officers are staying right behind them. Uh, they must have some information about this person that makes them it makes us a, a wanted, wanted driver. Yeah. Indeed. That was an interesting move. He saw that the traffic was about to get very thick on the 101 North and decided, well, I'm just going to hop off uh, the, on the wrong way. On the on-ramp, he hopped off. Yeah, it's a desperate move. Desperate. You know? Indeed, that's a great word for that move. Yeah. There he is. Oh, it's it just the amazing the how again. many chances this person has been taking all afternoon. Uh, thank goodness we haven't seen him make contact with any other vehicles. Uh, working his way back through Chinatown, a lot of traffic. Looks like we're heading back the direction that we had, were. We were on college there a few moments ago. Uh, this is Broadway through downtown Chinatown. So this is uh, an area that everybody knows is pretty packed. There's a lot of, uh, a lot of foot traffic out here, a lot of pedestrians. Uh, thank goodness we're not seeing anybody out in the roadway. Uh, and starting to make these uh, faster faster moves again, higher speeds, northbound on Broadway, basically coming going back the direction we came from. Yeah, this person is, uh, sounds like it's it, he's just confused as to where to go. I think one thing on his mind mm -hmm. is just to get away. And uh, we'll, oh, we'll do anything he can to get away. And you just saw on the right side of your screen uh, moments ago, we hopped off the 101. But when he hopped off, he hopped off onto the on-ramp yeah. so you can see some traffic right there looking probably going what in the heck is going on here right Stu where did this pursuit originate well we the original spots where we heard it was in the area of the uh of, well, look at this look at this look at this oh, uh, of the uh, two and the five oh, this the was the area the two and the five is where we originally heard okay. it uh so it's it, it, it's over there 
in, in that general area. But it got on the two freeway very quickly. It got off the, uh, got on the 210 for a moment or two. Uh, we heard the vehicle actually spun out at one time, and we thought it might the pursuit may have actually been over. Uh, but he continued on. And with this type of driving, amazing, we haven't seen another spin out. We did see a little bit of a fishtail earlier mm -hmm. on. Uh, this vehicle will get some street names for you. It's making another sharp turn. Oh, a little tight right there. Uh, but obviously was on Broadway. And now we're uh, up in the Boyle Heights area. And now we're working our way basically in an eastern direction. And it looks like mm -hmm. It looks like we're getting back into, nope, it's the same type of neighborhood. It's a little bit residential, a little bit of uh, commercial. And the streets, there are four lanes, so that's a huge plus. But there's no center uh, lane that this guy seems to be really using a lot. So if there's traffic and he gets boxed in, I'm really curious to see what he's going to do. Yeah, indeed. In case you're just joining us, you were watching breaking news, a dangerous pursuit in progress right now. Uh, it started in the Glendale area, Stu mentioned, between the two, perhaps, they picked up the call somewhere around the uh, two freeway and the five freeway. Um, this, this pursuit went through Glendale, downtown LA. It is now in Boyle Heights. Um, this driver, uh, possibly three people in that car, possibly robbery suspects. They have been driving erratically at very, very high speeds. Yeah, and you used a great word. You said uh, some of these moves are desperate. They mm -hmm. definitely are trying to yeah run away from the cops, um, but the officers, they've done a great job of staying right Ooh, behind a lot of traffic, them. A lot of traffic. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, narrowly missed that red car. Mm -hmm. uh, and onto the sidewalk. Yeah, just, uh, yeah the, we've seen this guy driving on the wrong side of the street, uh, making very erratic moves, driving very fast. Oh, and right there, you almost saw uh, him kind of um, make contact with yeah. that bus. Southbound um, from Daly. I'm getting some information that the primary unit in pursuit of this vehicle is from the Northeast Division. Northeast. Yeah. That, that, that is correct, Sharon. And Northeast has been on its from the get-go. Uh, you know, I, I didn't want to start saying divisions because sometimes I... I I get the uh, the frowny face from uh, management when sure. I start just using uh, the, the, the division <laughs> names. Uh, LAPD, mm -hmm. it is Northeast Division. That's the area where it started. You know, it, it, they're on southbound mission, uh, making that sharp turn right there. Back on to Cesar Chavez right now. Uh, and so he's not staying in any neighborhood. This is not, this is no, we haven't been in this neighborhood before. We didn't hear this neighborhood earlier on. It's wide open, uh, too. We always kind of wondered. It, do, 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 mm -hmm. oh, almost, almost right there. Uh, but he's staying on Cesar Chavez right now. We're in the area of, we're not exactly next to, but we're in the area of USC Medical. Uh, this, uh, this vehicle continues to elude officers just by moving quickly. Uh, the LAPD though, you know, that's the thing. Elude might not really be the, the word because they're, they're right there behind them. Mm -hmm. uh, they're, they're not. Yeah. Okay. We just seem to have lost uh, Stu Mundell. You were watching a very dangerous pursuit happening. It's been uh, mm -hmm. happening uh, for quite some time now. You see that white car? Apparently there may be three occupants inside. They may be robbery suspects and LAPD is in hot pursuit. These guys are making extremely dangerous moves. They're going at very high speeds. Yeah, and apparently this started off the five and the two. Uh, you can see right there, this, this driver has been sometimes on the wrong side of the road. Mm -hmm. It looks like he's getting onto the freeway. Is that the freeway right there that he's getting onto? Back onto the freeway. Okay, back, yeah. mm -hmm. Definitely back on. Seriously, he doesn't five. know where he's going. He's just driving just to get away. Well, you, you, you probably, we don't know. That's, 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 yeah. the, that's the deal. We don't know. Getting off the freeway right now. Uh, he was on the five just for a second. It looks like it was just a, a, a convenience, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, basically, he had that opportunity to make that turn. There was no traffic right there exiting 4th Street. We're making that turn on to 4th Street. So now we're heading back westbound, so heading back towards downtown. Uh, so we haven't seen him in the downtown area yet. Uh, probably a plus because it's going to get even more uh, dense with the buildings mm -hmm. and, uh, and folks. Another solid red light passing Boyle right there. Uh, this vehicle continuing slowing down. And this is what we've seen. That's the only pattern. If there is patterns to be seen is that moving fast, moving slow. Right. Uh, that's 
the only thing we've seen. Uh, we're back into another uh, neighborhood area, but we're going to be getting very commercial here shortly. Uh, you can see LAPD right there behind him, the helicopter overhead the entire time. Uh, LAPD, as you said, Northeast Division, right there behind him from the inception of this pursuit. I'm really curious if this was some sort of undercover where they were watching this vehicle, because uh, it is, they're saying, 211 suspect, and that means robbery. Yeah. Uh, but we don't know armed. We don't know uh, if it's residential. We don't know if, it was, uh, if there was a, a violence involved. Uh, we do understand possibly two other folks inside that vehicle. And with those tinted windows, it's another question. How did LAPD know that? Did they see these pe pe people get into that vehicle? So those type of questions are what's on my mind right now. And Just it, making our way over the 4th Street Bridge, working our way into downtown, and heavier traffic. And a question that I have is whether that's even their vehicle. They may have stolen it. That, Who knows? It, that that well that it, it might have said uh, that might have been a carjacking but of course who knows who knows, who knows? Yeah. this person definitely driving like he stole it there's no <laughs> doubt about that uh, west still westbound Forest Street and we've seen like they've been very wide open coming up to another major right there you can see officers out there possibly possibly spike strips possibly, possibly. I can't oh. say for sure. Okay, this would, would be a, so. this would be a, a good area because it's wide open, mm -hmm. very little traffic, yep. or a pit maneuver oh, if they, they can get they up close to them. Uh, well, I don't know. Now we're picking up some well, speed here. Picking up some speed again. Making another hard, hard oh. turn right there and starting to skid. Uh, though they actually had an officer waiting at the corner of 4th and Alameda with oh. the spike strip. Oh. So it, if, if he was able to deploy them. They were deployed. I'm unclear on that right now. We're going to keep an eye on those tires. We're going to keep an eye on the maneuverability of that vehicle, uh, making some w unusual turns right mm -hmm. there. But we're still making our way closer and closer into the downtown area with the, where all the buildings are. Stuff Ooh. coming out of the car right uh -oh. there. A lot it's of like stuff. A lot oh, of they're stuff. throwing things so, out of the car. See, papers. Yes, and that clothing. Might it looks like clothing. <clears throat> It look it looked like clothing maybe a bag or two some oh, more, more stuff papers. going out that window so that that indicates that there are some people in the back portion more of that clothes. vehicle uh, so this might be what the part of what the robbery was involved in maybe it was a residential robbery uh, but right now or burglary in that case but right mm -hmm. now stuff start continuing to fall mm -hmm. being thrown it's nothing's falling out of that car mm -hmm. uh, being thrown out of that vehicle at <clears throat> And uh, they stuff. actually have to go and pick up all of that stuff. Now, wow. is that going to be the, uh, the the vehicles in pursuit? No. There's going to be other ones. Well, there's a dying very, very crowded right area. Did you see the Very, very crowded. The pedestrians. Oh. And it just continues on. Yeah. Where? Uh, give us a location. Where are we? Southbound Los Angeles. Okay. We're southbound Los Angeles Street in the downtown mm -hmm. Los Angeles area. Uh, cr uh, didn't oh, get that cross you right there. Oh, someone on a wheelchair. On the, Yep, oh, yep. It's, uh, right there at the cross is six, but he did slow down for that. Now, officers from LAPD, they're going to have to go pick up all those items or try to. Uh, you can see that uh, you can see officers right there behind him. They didn't slow down, uh, but other officers will be the ones that will be going to collect those items that are being tossed out of the vehicle. It's interesting to see him uh, slow down through when the traffic gets thick. He does slow down instead of just barrel through, which is good. He's not causing any accident so far but here he is you know inching his way through traffic well he's definitely not slowing down enough i can guarantee you that mm -hmm. uh we've seen this car fishtail a bunch of times and that could be this could be the demise of this uh this chase uh if he makes if he makes a sharp turn somewhere and fishtails hits another vehicle that might bring this to an end we're now on 7th street uh, near San Pedro Street. I don't know if we just crossed it or are about to cross it, but we're on 7th. Right now, the vehicle picking up speed again. I should stay a little bit wider just in case something else is in front of it. Uh, but you can see LAPD still right behind this vehicle. We did see some stuff coming out of the car. That's not going to That's not gonna bring anything to an end. I can tell you that. These people in the car, they are going to wind up in cuffs. Hopefully, that's where they're going to wind up and not in a hospital or worse. Approaching Central right now, it does look like he's going to make a turn, making a nice short, a sharp turn there on northbound Central. And this pursuit continues. It's been going for some time. LAPD, they've been right behind him the entire time, in the air, on the ground, lights and sirens, trying to keep the public safe. So far, no incidents, no accidents. Fortunately, uh, yeah, But this pursuit, so every, 
every intersection seems like we're getting that much closer ooh, ooh. to a problem. Stu, it's making a series of turns, erratic turns. Um, our producer just said the tires look really still inflated. Did the driver go yep. over a set of spike strips? I'm not sure if we... we we all we knew what the guy bicycle. on the bike right there mm -hmm. on a trike he's getting out of the way for the officers uh the only thing we know is that there was an attempt at spike strips uh at, at that uh, one intersection avalon and fourth right at the end of the bridge i uh, don't know we saw the vehicle i saw the truck uh, the the suv the officer's suv door the back open not sure if he had time okay. but there was a possibility that that's where they were going to do it uh as far as the tires go if if they hit spike strips i agree with the producer 100 percent. we would be seeing some flat tires by yeah. now. And some slowing down. Yeah. And, and this driver shows no not. signs <laughs> of slowing down, going on the wrong Ugh. other side of the street. Oh, such a dangerous, dangerous yes. situation here. And then going and, through an and, intersection, just barreling yeah, through. Yeah, another intersection right there. That was, uh, that was San Pedro right there. <laughs> oh, a lot of cross traffic right there. I was at Wall Street. You got pedestrians out here. Like I said, the, the closer we get to the downtown, downtown area, the more we're going to see pedestrians, the more we're going to see folks on bikes, uh, maybe some disabled folks uh, trying to get through intersections. Mm -hmm. uh, approaching, uh, approaching Los Angeles right now, that's the name of the street. We're in Los Angeles. A lot of cross traffic. That's what I heard. Looks like we're going to make a southbound turn on, on a one-way street. Oof. Oh, no. Uh, LAPD still following this vehicle. Ooh, ooh, There's ooh, another ooh. person on a bicycle right there. Uh, and he's making his way again, yeah, Western, and, and we're still working our way pretty quickly out here. This is going to be a numbered street. Looks like we're going to be heading north again, right turn on Broadway. Uh, do you think this very, guy. Very, very dangerous. Do you think this guy is oh, trying ahead, to find the, the entrance to the free. Oh, wait, they've just. Box. Oh, it looks like they, they were going to stop, but it do, it, there's no sign of them no. stopping. They no, he's just, just trying to get around some obstacles. Yeah, getting around. Uh, it, a lot Whoa, of traffic down there at that intersection. Uh, it, we can get, he and we got folks stopped. down there on the ground. Oh, it looks like he might be. Up oh, there he goes. Oh, nope. He's underneath us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you think he's trying to find the entrance to the freeway, or do you think he's just driving no, around downtown? Oh, here we are. Oh. oh. Several close calls. <clears throat> mm -hmm. And the streets are a lot tighter around, oh, yeah. obviously, downtown. Super tight out here. And with these high speeds, yeah. it's just going to get worse and worse. Uh, LAPD, though, they, they really just want to bring this thing to an end. Oh, Look, oh, pedestrians, oh, pedestrians, oh, pedestrians. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, yeah. He slows for them. That's. And, and we got some, got some blockage going on up here. This might be where they bring it to. Nope, nope, nope they didn't. Nope. Uh, there was a, there's a truck over there doing some loading. Mm -hmm. Eastbound 6th Street is where we are right now. So. <laughs> Basically heading back the other direction. We just crossed Broad Broadway at 6 and we're heading eastbound. Mm -hmm. Now we're dropping south again. So it does appear that he's starting to make some blocks out here. Hopefully uh, he didn't see a spot where he can, might think that he can get out. But uh, and it's definitely slowing down once again. We're moving Sky mm -hmm. 9 around as quick as we can. And again, this is one of those situations where it seems like we're not moving quickly. We are. Oh, it's just, oh, it's now just the physics in. of what we're looking at. Getting blocked in, and it, traffic yep. getting thicker. This was mm -hmm. not a good choice. Mm. Oh, uh, oh. And it looks like so, somebody actually getting out of his way. <clears throat> and there we go. And now he's, at least he's got a. There, at least there's less traffic oh, out nice. here, as you start to open up again a little bit. <clears throat> but we're getting closer to Olympic uh -oh. as we're making our way southbound. Okay. I believe <clears throat> we're still on Los Angeles again. Okay. Making another mm -hmm. sharp turn now back to, over to the east. <clears throat> He's literally Seventh driving Street. in circles around mm -hmm. downtown LA. Running it's in just, circles, definitely. Yeah. It just, it, it just desperation, not knowing what to do, but just to drive. And, uh, and traffic's it, getting the, thicker. The, We've the seen The more he stays in this area, it's mm -hmm. just going to get more and more dangerous. I just worry about all those other folks that are out there on the ground right now. Uh, whoa! Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry. I thought that you was a You mistook the uh, traffic light yeah. as a person. It was, it was a I know. I, 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 thought, yeah, I thought, yep. I thought, I, I thought I was, the same and, thing. Uh, mm -hmm. back, back moving southbound once again. Mm -hmm. So this chase continuing in the, in the downtown Los Angeles area. Very dangerous suspects because the officers from LAPD not letting this go. We've oh, seen this in the okay. past where they'll just basically go in into tracking mode and just drop off the officers, meaning the, the ground units. Uh, he just continues to weave his way around these buildings out here, uh, 
northbound on Main right now from the in the downtown area. I believe that was 7th or 8th Street that he was on just a moment ago. Uh, northbound Main, though, again, just the streets are so packed out here uh, in the downtown Los Angeles area. LAPD doing an amazing job mm -hmm, really uh, staying with that vehicle and, and just, you know, that just enough distance, a hard ooh, turn ooh. there. I'm surprised, that, that, like there, I'm surprised this car didn't flip. He made it, that turn pretty it, it, quickly. It, it, he did oh. make that turn sharp and now going right by another uh, officer from LAPD <clears throat> and uh, now back southbound again. Uh, those, those, uh, the newer SUVs, they have a lot of controls in them to help them. Uh, looks like heavy traffic on this oh, street. This, uh, this would definitely seem to be in the, uh, if, if we're not close in the actual, we're very close to mm -hmm. the, uh, uh, what is this, the fashion area or where they the have fashion the, district? Oh, the garment district. Waving his hands. Yeah, so, so there's going to be a lot of traffic out here. This might be an opportunity. To end this. Uh, look at look that. At it. There's so, no place to go yeah. but to, to climb out and, and run if these guys are <coughs> thinking Get out straight. and surrender. And that, might be, that might be his, his only option. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, LAPD might be taking advantage of this. There's no place to go. No place mm -hmm. There are a lot of uh, there are a lot of civilians out there. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of other uh, people on the streets. So using weapons is going to be very mm -hmm. difficult. Trying to push his way through. Wow. The, you know, this is one of the times where the lights and sirens People are obeying the law. They're moving over to the right. That may actually be causing an opening for that suspect. Well, I see and the, in the end, that might be a good thing. Yeah, I see the driver or sure. the person in the back seat uh, has Getting the window. Antsy. Yeah, the windows rolled down and, and basically trying to wave cars, to wave the truck in front of him away, uh, moving, asking him to, to move aside so he can get through. But now it looks like they're just sitting ducks. They literally are sitting ducks. Yeah. But I, that um, yeah. can you imagine that, this driver of this the, box truck? He can I, hear I, those sirens. That, that's the thing. It, 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 and, and that's the, the he's in a, he's got one of those moments. It's like that, he doesn't know that there's no. a pursuit going on. Mm -hmm. All he knows is that he's hearing lights and sirens. So he's probably doing the right thing. He's going to yeah. keep on he's moving and the maybe long, move over to the right. right. Moving to the right. He's obeying the law. And you see these folks walking box down truck the is street. Starting to move. Pulling oh. over. A amazing. That, uh, Incredible. Again, nobody's, Incredible. Nobody's been hurt. Oh. Yeah. Ugh. We thought that would be the opportunity right there for officers. Whoa, to whoa, whoa, whoa. Mm. Okay. I don't know what that was all about. That man that actually unit, an officer's 469, bicycle. has really been on this guy. <laughs> One time. <laughs> that guy for sure. For I mean, sure, we don't want to yeah. Any kind of fun. Not going to let him go. Any kind of thing like that. But if he gets a gold star next to his name, he's, he deserved it by the mm -hmm. end of the shift. Uh, making another left turn out there. The streets are starting to open up a little bit, but this is an area where there's a lot of homeless out here, a lot of pedestrians. Mm -hmm. uh, you can see a lot of those folks there on the, on the sidewalk. It's right there. So there's going to be a lot more. Yes, there's the downtown uh, a LA lot mission. more. Uh, yep, and there's a lot, but there's a lot more folks out here yeah. on, the, mm -hmm. on, on the sidewalks. And, you know, if he hits a car, that's one thing. If he hits a pedestrian, that's going to be something entirely different. Cross traffic, a lot of cross traffic. Yeah, this driver's just been driving erratically. Uh, Stu says this started around uh, off the five and the two. Started around, what would you say, Stu, 345? How long would you say uh, this guy's like been moving? It seems like almost an eternity. That yeah, movement. it does seem yeah, like that. it seems like forever we've been following this. <laughs> oh, right. Uh, it's round and round, huh? Making, and, and it, you know what, it's all these close calls. It's all that, that those moments where you're just like, no, 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 no. Like right now, pedestrians oh. running out of the way. And it's, you know, it just makes this uh, so tense and, and so, it just, it's just one of those things. You, you, we, 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 we watch them, but you just don't want to see anything bad happen. And it's just coming so close so often. Yeah, here's a pedestrian a, right there. Oh, my goodness. This is a tense situation here. And he's going the wrong way. Oh, it, 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 wait, uh, Santee wait. at Olympic, that's where we are mm -hmm. right now. If uh, anybody is, needs to, is, is keeping track of this stuff, uh, is, he's staying in a very, very crowded area. And, uh, and he, it, it's already proven to almost bring this to an end. Going through a busy intersection, solid red light right there, uh, making our way over towards the convention center. 
but now we're going northbound again on Broadway. So this is continuing in the downtown area. Officers from LAPD on the ground in the air and uh, staying right behind that vehicle. Sky 9 is going to move uh, move those buildings out of the way very conveniently for us as he's continuing northbound on Broadway. Uh, every intersection, though, you just got to stay on it because it looks like it, 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 it's just random. He's just taking this turn, that turn, and it, sometimes he, he puts himself in these spots where you think it's going to come to an end. Is LAPD taking any other measures to bring this to an end? Yes, of course they are. But how do you get in front of this? How do you get in front yeah. of a vehicle where it's just making all these mm -hmm. random turns? That's the big question. I mean, and what could be going through this guy's mind? Where does he think he's going to end up? Certainly he's not trying to make it on jail, the freeway. He, a jail, hopefully, yeah. right, because yeah. he's in the vicinity yeah. of the, an L.A. Men Central Jail. But um, what could he be thinking? Where could he be go, wa wanting to go? And we know they're desperate because hey. they've been driving so erratically. And then at points to remember they were throwing out clothes or items. Yep, items of that vehicle. You know, sometimes we give uh, give these suspects more credit than maybe they deserve. Uh, you know, like a plan, an idea. Uh, you know, this is just random moves, mm -hmm. random acts, and he's just trying to, to stay away from the officers. That's it. Mm -hmm. uh, he's trying to stay out of jail. Maybe they're just relishing their last couple of minutes uh, inside that vehicle, uh, it, uh, not in cuffs, and hopefully not in a hospital. Uh, and, uh, and more so, hopefully not injuring somebody on the streets, and he's come so close to so many uh, this afternoon. There's probably a lot of people that are probably going to be going home saying, I saw this nut, this person just cut me off at high speeds or drive the wrong way on the freeway today. Yeah. Uh, back onto Figueroa, looks like we're going to be going northbound on Figueroa. So we are getting closer and it looks like we're going to be going back again the way we came. So we're going to be heading eastbound uh, once again. So off of Figueroa, I'm not sure if that what street that's going to be, maybe a numbered street. There he goes. Uh, even, the, even the police helicopter momentarily loses uh, this vehicle, getting the information from the guys on the ground. Uh, making another turn to the south, so now basically just doing doing blocks. That was uh, Wilshire, was on, on southbound Flower from Wilshire, and it looks like just doing blocks right now. Yeah. Maybe he saw something. Maybe he saw do, like a, a parking garage. Go ahead. Do hold that thought. Um, in case you're just joining us, you're watching breaking news here on KCAL 9 News at 4 o'clock and CBS 2 News. We are simulcasting a pursuit that's uh, been going on for about an hour or so, a dangerous pursuit, a high-speed pursuit. Now it's in the downtown L.A. area. Um, apparently there might be three suspects in the car in that white SUV, there are possibly robbery suspects. We do not know whether they're armed, um, but they have been driving at very dangerous speeds. They have, making, they have been making very erratic moves. They are um, desperate to get away from, from police at this time. LAPD is in hot pursuit of these guys. Mm -hmm. At some times, uh, we've seen them put down some spike strips, but we don't know if that has actually worked. Let's see. Uh, Stu, do you see the... Uh, Stu, where are they now? Yeah. Uh, they've actually got across on, onto the west side of the 110 freeway. Uh, I think that's Bixel. I'm pretty sure that's Bixel. Okay. Now working his way backing up, back onto, onto uh, 7th. 7th Street, so we're basically working our way back into the downtown area. Wiltshire Grand right there in the shot. Uh, so it, it, it's getting kind of difficult. These bigger buildings making it difficult to keep an eye on where that vehicle Okay, we seem to have lost Stu. All right, you are walking, watching breaking news. This pursuit is never ending, and we are picking it up again. A Sky 9 shot. You see a number of LAPD units in pursuit of that uh, SUV there. It has been driving erratically. It has been driving dangerously all over downtown L.A., no, um, no, LAPD no, no, no in pursuit cities, of three cities. robbery suspects, possibly three, in that car, uh, possibly armed. We haven't been able to confirm that. Um, mm -hmm. They have been Southbound. throwing things out Southbound. of the car as they're driving around downtown in and, circles. And the driver sometimes barreling through these intersections, not stopping. We've seen pedestrians on bicycles. Mm -hmm. We've seen people uh, in their wheelchairs. Uh, we've seen at one point it looked like the driver was going to get boxed in in the fashion district, mm -hmm. but that didn't happen because uh, drivers were actually moving out of the way yeah. and possibly because they heard those um, Lights and sirens, sirens and yeah. thinking, okay, I need to move for the officer, not knowing that a pursuit was uh, right behind them. And so now we're back on it. Stu, where are we now? Uh, we're southbound. I believe this is going to be Flower, and uh, we just passed 8th Street. 
uh, in, in downtown Los Angeles. That is, that, that's where we are. Mm -hmm. Another hard turn, making a turn off to the east. We'll get this, uh, the numbered street here in just a second. Uh, it's slowing down a little bit again, but don't know why. That's the thing. Now we're going against traffic mm -hmm. one more time. So this is going to be a one-way uh, street, getting very close. Uh, to one of the uh, one of the vehicles out there, but we're going northbound on a southbound only. This is a one-way street right here. Now he's correcting his. Uh uh, that was on Grand, and now we're making our way back onto, I believe this is going to be 7th Street. Now, <clears throat> northbound back onto Broadway, or... F yeah, clearly and, this person uh, does this pursuit continuing in the downtown area. Yeah, I wonder, I, again, hard yeah. to say what these guys are thinking, but... Um, Westbound. They are literally driving in circles around downtown. We did see them yeah. try to get on the freeway a couple times, but then it looks like the driver thought that was a bad idea because the 101 area, yeah, North is going to get um, extremely busy with the um, There it's southbound. Rush hour I don't know where, though. There he is. Uh, southbound right now. There he goes. We, uh, we, when he gets behind those buildings, it gets very difficult to keep an eye on him. Uh, so we always kind of we gotta we gotta rely on just visual aids looking out the window. I just want to give just real quick uh, my pilot Brendan this afternoon. Uh, every time we, every now and then when you lose our signal, that's usually because of the maneuvers the helicopters are making. We're losing our we lose our signal, and that's because it doesn't seem like it. But Brennan uh, doing an amazing job keeping the helicopter safe but maneuvering quite a bit this afternoon uh, as we make these turns, trying to keep an eye on this vehicle as he's making his way through the downtown area. Just want to throw that out there. It's difficult, not, not so difficult for me to run that camera and keep an eye on it, but uh, Brendan's got to actually move the helicopter and follow this thing around, and then also think about where he's going and how these buildings are going to affect us. So doing an amazing job this afternoon for sure. Uh, that suspect, suspects inside that vehicle. Uh, well, you know what? I'm not going to give them any props at all. It is amazing that they haven't hit anybody yeah. uh, this afternoon. They continue to drive erratically, uh, high speeds, dangerous maneuvers, lots of pedestrians out here in the downtown area, and that doesn't seem to phase this person at all. Robbery suspects, that's all we know. Was it a residential robbery? Not sure. But LAPD has been in pursuit of these folks since the, almost the inception of that crime. So they may have been uh, being watched. Right now, they do know that these are very dangerous suspects. Otherwise, they might have done a different tactic. They might have just uh, gone into a tracking mode, or they may have, uh, been, or maybe they were known suspects, and they would have picked them up someplace else. The LAPD, whoop, there's a car coming right at them uh, down there. They, and uh, right now, in the downtown area, extremely dangerous maneuvers, packed streets, going the wrong way. So many, can't even count how many times he's made yeah. that maneuver. And right now, northbound Broadway, passing Strict, 6th Street, uh, heading back out towards uh, down, uh, excuse me, uh, down towards the courthouse and etc. But uh, right now these streets are packed. Yeah, and, uh, uh, when you say the streets are, is, uh, when you say the streets no, are no, packed, the streets are packed because a lot of people are getting out of work, work. Um, getting ready to get out, get yes. out of work yeah. at this hour. So you, you'll expect to see more traffic and a lot mm -hmm. more pedestrian traffic in the next 20 minutes or so. Especially around downtown when a lot yeah. of people, you know, when might the courts let out or walk or right take, the, take the bus to work yeah. or whatnot. Um, you got to wonder, at what point does the driver just go, gosh, this is getting tiresome, circle, 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 wrong way, officers on his back. I mean, <laughs> yeah, you would think that he would go, okay, this is just not working out. Yeah, let's just give up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Easier said than done. It looks like the window so has rolled back, back on up. Los Angeles. Uh, those, the, the driver's window was down just for a, a, a hot second. Mm -hmm. He just had it down for a moment, and it went right back up. Southbound Los Angeles streets where we are, downtown Los Angeles area. Got heavy cross traffic right there, and pedestrians walking across the street. How many times have we street. seen that? Yeah. Uh, of course, they're seeing this car barreling down on them mm -hmm. and lights and sirens. Uh, they, they need to get out of the way. Uh, right now, though, that suspect continues to uh, keep the officers just at bay. Looks like we're making another turn. Uh, Looks like we're going to be heading westbound, westbound 7th from Los Angeles. So heading back into that very thick downtown Los Angeles area again, squeezing his way through, trying to get out onto that major major streets and continuing on past Maine and now on the wrong side of the road because there's traffic. Right. And there's going to be a lot of traffic. Uh, working his way through another intersection, keeping an eye on which way he turns uh, through spring. So he's continuing on. There he is. 
and just this just keeps going and going and going. Yeah. Downtown's got to be one of the worst places to try to pull these maneuvers because of the one-way streets, mm -hmm. the traffic, mm -hmm. and the people. Very dangerous. Up, 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 up. Oh, what do we have here? It's a pick. Oh. It's a work. It's a work yeah. Oh, that's the first time we've seen him actually hit a vehicle. And the only reason I know that, the alarm went off on the van. Oh. So he just basically bumped into that van right there. So that's the first time we've seen him make contact with a vehicle. Uh, obviously, you know, uh, we, I was telling you, saying how Brendan's been working so hard keeping up with this. That driver down there may actually be starting to uh, deal with some fatigue as well. And that could also cause some other problems. Uh, he might become less alert. It looks like there's a lot of traffic right there. Continuing northbound on, on Main from 6, uh, I saw a lot of traffic down there. If he would have taken that street, he would have basically put himself back in that same spot. Isn't that the uh, northbound Main. Isn't that the area you, of the you jewelry You see some district? officers right there? there you yes, uh, officers right there with some spike strips. Uh, not sure if they were successful, but they definitely had some ready. Uh, they tossed them out. Do not know if they made contact. Wow, this is a tough one. Um, oh, here's some officers right here. Looks like trying there's some to... There's oh. You saw that? You see that? They wow. tried. Yep. So they're, they're making every effort. And, uh, it, you know, in the downtown area, the blocks are a little bit smaller. We know that for a fact because we've been watching it. So it gives the officers a little bit more of an opportunity to, to, to randomly get ahead of this vehicle. Uh, not sure if any of those uh, spike strips made any contact, but you can see him actually speeding up. So he's realizing that they're making an effort to bring this thing to an end. Yeah. Approaching First Street, higher speeds up here. If he has ooh, low ooh, tires... Ooh. It's going to be difficult blending in right there. I think that's going to be, I'm not sure. First Street, making a First Street. So eastbound First Street and uh, speeding up and uh, it making just higher speeds. If he's got lower tires, oh, I'm just Gosh. hoping this thing does not end in a tragedy. Yeah. The First Street, where does it take us in the direction that he's going? <laughs> Well, if, if he follows it, it'll take us out towards, uh, right now we just passed San Pedro Street, ooh, ooh, really okay. tight. Okay. Alameda would be a major, but we, we're heading back out towards the Boyle Heights area out of the downtown Los Angeles area. But uh, this driver getting a little ooh. agitated. Uh, that, uh, did that did not like those uh, spike strips being tossed out in front of him. Yeah. Uh, coming up on Alameda right now, very hard turn, very hard sweeping turn, and a lot of traffic. Uh, and, and kind of jammed in here. I uh, don't know reversing. what his thoughts are right there, but uh, going against traffic, northbound and the southbound lanes on Alameda. Alameda also. I mean, we, we just should just throw a blanket. And All streets flying. very busy mm -hmm. out here. Yeah. Yeah. And now very much on the wrong side of the road, making a left turn right there on Temple. Oh, my goodness. This thing just keeps going yeah, and going. Yeah, this is dizzying. And, uh, oh, he's uh, and and, uh, and, you know. Seems like a lot of the streets out here now have a lot of traffic stopped at the lights, which just oh. a lot of cross traffic, trying to blend in, swerving a little mm -hmm. bit. And that kind of shows you, too. Uh, we haven't seen that vehicle swerving. Uh, mm -hmm. back, on Los back on Los Angeles Street, uh, passing the 110 freeway. So we're, we're basically heading back. Oh, nope, we're getting onto the, onto the freeway. Oh, we're going to see where we go on the freeway. With traffic. Yeah. Which freeway are we getting on the... the the 110? Uh, this is going to be the, the 101. 110? 110, 110. I think this is the 110. Okay. Uh, 101, 101. Okay. 101 freeway. 101 so the 101, 101 uh, we're interchange is in that area. It's, it's going to be, look at that. Yes. It's traffic. Yeah, it's yeah. going to get congested. Very. He's trying to. Is, the four He's level is going to get in. very congested. And a lot of folks out here, uh, you know, every, everybody's trying to get where they want to go. Mm -hmm. uh, so you, it, it does get a little bit pushy in, in this area, mm -hmm. it, politely pushy. We're all L.A. folks. <laughs> uh, so, but uh, this vehicle, you know, he's uh, more than aggressive oh, and he's really, uh, really, really speed. picking up those mm -hmm. speeds. Looks like he's in that gore point. Not sure where he's going to go. Oh, it looks like he's going over oh. some curbs right there, which probably not. Oh, it's, Oh. Staying on the 101 freeway, but okay. probably, you know, these hitting those w curbs, that might cause some tire issues as well. Hopefully he's going to get some flat tires and it's just going to bring this thing to an end. Uh, right now, though, 101 freeway, the direction he's heading right now, not so bad. If we make it to Hollywood, <laughs> it's going to be it's going to be st stop and go, and it's going to give him some uh, unusual options. Looks like he's doing a lot of maneuvering out here, and he doesn't seem to stay on the freeway. So I'm guessing possibly off at Echo Park. We'll see here right now 101 northbound heading into the Hollywood area. Uh, right now Echo Park, and uh, high speeds on the freeway, 
and the uh, are the uh, passing are the officers they, close no, fire? A little... They are, and the uh, one of the officers off of Alvarado, high speeds, oh, fishtailing oh. a little bit, and. He there he goes on to Bellevue. The one of the, the officer that we've been watching, Stem's been officer. doing such an awesome job running out of fuel. Oh wow! So and I, I wonder if this car is so, going to run out of fuel anytime yeah, so, soon. Uh, it depends what he started with. Mm -hmm. But uh, right now they're actually asking to get another unit uh, that has a light bar, meaning uh, mm -hmm. the lights on top of the vehicle to get behind this thing once again. Uh, it's a red light, but he actually has got a lot of distance between him and the officers, which isn't so good because now these uh, folks on the ground down there they don't have the benefit of the lights and sirens they don't have the benefits of the uh, the sirens coming and uh, being alerted so making some really hard turns out here right around echo park uh, but uh, you can see uh, using every every out available oh. to them and right in front of That's a calm. bus mm -hmm. uh, and it looks like we're going to be uh, northbound, and I, I think we're on Echo Park. Echo Park northbound. Incredible, incredible. Just whoa, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, he's crashed into a yeah. business. He crashed into a bus stop. That guy didn't even open the door. Oh, and oh, now he's right out. out a bus right stop. out there. Two people he's out. out. Oh no, no! Oh, Don't try that. Don't try go. that. Now he's running. There, there, there you see go. police we're on officer sunset. on foot in pursuit. A number of them. Okay. They're running after and the guy. And this guy's still game. trying to outrun the officers. And that's going to be the end of it right there. Oh, that's all it. of a sudden you want to play nice. There you go, onto the there ground. You go. We, they got that one. That is the driver. Mm -hmm. They got one, and that's the most important right there. That was the driver. That mm -hmm. was the one they really, really wanted. Mm -hmm. uh, it's sunset near Echo Park. Uh, the vehicle basically, it was, a, it was a ghost pit maneuver. Just kind of lost control on its own. Crashed into a bus stop thing. Goodness, nobody was there. Yeah, uh, officers goodness. right there, they're, uh, they're clearing the vehicle. The other folks uh, out on foot, we're gonna try to uh, listen in, see if we can find these, uh, where the other ones ran to. Uh, right now though, the, the main suspect in the custody, but wow, what a, what a crazy end to that pursuit. And he did make contact with another vehicle. I'm being corrected, he did hit another car and that's where he lost right control there. and crashed into that bus. Yeah, it's that burgundy car right there, right in the middle of the street. So, um, wow. and, uh, in case so officers from LAPD, they may be setting up a perimeter, but that, but, there are a number uh, of the, businesses, the suspect. In, there are a number of businesses in that area that these guys could have run into. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, you're right, uh, Stu, they're going to, they're going to uh, create a perimeter and they're going to conduct a search, an intense search for these guys. And we at first thought it was possibly three people in the car, but I saw two people hop out. So maybe there's a third yeah. that ran away as well. We just didn't see. See the third person. He could have hopped out on the, the other, other side. side. But the way it looked like the SUV crashed, he might have been, the door might have been pinned. Who knows? Yeah. But that was a, yeah. you called that a ghost yeah. pit maneuver, right, Stu? <laughs> Uh, it was not. It was not a pit maneuver. It was not a pit maneuver. He made contact with another vehicle. Yeah. Uh, at first, I thought he just he just kind of swerved and lost control on his own. But he did make contact with another vehicle. That right there underneath the tree, of course, because it's uh, it's my shot. Uh, the second suspect in custody. But now we're hearing we're hearing that there were only two people in the vehicle. They're saying that officers on the ground calling to code four. But this is a very fluid situation. That might change up. They have two suspects in custody. Got a one suspect in custody there. Oh, the driver we saw being tackled and taken into custody a little bit farther south. So they have two in custody. Uh, officers on the ground working this out right now, but they believe that they have everybody that was in the vehicle in custody right now coming to a uh, crashing end. Thank goodness uh, nobody on the ground hurt down there at the uh, corner of Echo Park and Sunset. Uh, when that vehicle hit another car, may have lost control and hit another car, all that'll come out in the wash. But it definitely went into a bus stop. Thank goodness nobody at that bus stop. Indeed. No, but they are uh, definitely uh, wrapping this up. Wow, what a series of events. Mm -hmm. Incredible. Um, no one been was one hurt. Of the, I think this has been one of the more intense pursuits we've covered. Um, indeed. In case you're <laughs> You're watching, you are watching the end of a pursuit. Thank goodness for that, because this was a dangerous one. This happened, this started possibly around, what, 3.45 or like yeah. maybe an hour ago? Mm -hmm. um, in La the Crescenta, vicinity. Glendale area, the five and the two. Yeah, along there, that's where Stu Mundell picked it up. That white car there yeah. with two people inside, robbery suspects, 
took LAPD for a ride all mm -hmm. the way um, around the Southland, well, mainly downtown LA, uh, through, through Glendale, Elysian um, Park, Elysian Park, down, and then finally ending at downtown LA um, mm -hmm. at the corner of Echo of um, Sunset and yeah, Sunset Echo and Park. Echo Park. Insane, and thank goodness no one was hurt because this driver was driving so dangerously, narrowly missing pedestrians, mm -hmm. uh, sideswiping uh, a car or two. Looked like a bus at one point he yep. might have even hit. Yep, um, yep. and at he a even high made an rate of speed. To, uh, to take over another vehicle. He and did. He tried to, 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 to hardjack that, that right there. Yeah, you're right. Yep. Yeah, Sharon, I think at one point it, you even it just shows it. you those locking doors. It, it, it is, you know, sometimes uh, my friends make jokes about it, but you know, if your door is locked when you put it in drive, it's a good thing. Trust it's me, great, it man. probably it helped that it helped that driver right there. Uh, right now, though, they are saying two people in custody. They are saying code four, but they are closing down at least Echo Park, uh, the, the street Echo Park here at Sunset uh, for what uh, for all the police activity. But they'll probably move this down. Sunset is going to be uh, reopened. They're saying two in custody, unsure if there may still be one outstanding. But it's a code four, right, Stu? But, and, four? and they recovered one gun. They okay. recovered oh, one gun. Okay, they got they one. They did got recover it. a weapon. Okay. They did recover a weapon. So mm -hmm. that shows you also that that was one of the reasons why very dangerous suspect, and they, they had to stay with it. They had to follow this to the end. They had to uh, stay in pursuit because, you know, our armed suspect and possibly they, you know, these the LAPD, they know a lot more about what's going on than we do. And they, they had their reasons. And uh, thank goodness nobody really hurt this afternoon. A, a per, an armed suspect off the streets. And, uh, and thank goodness nobody hurt in this crash. It'll be interesting to, if we do find out what they were throwing from the car, because yeah. we saw at one point lots of things being thrown they from the car. It could have been items that they had stolen if they were robbery suspects. Mm -hmm. so. And this pursuit Incredible. ending right here, the driver crashed into a bus stop. Thankfully, nobody sitting on the bus stop or reaching the 5 o'clock hour, a lot of people getting out of work. I wonder how the people in that car are doing, the one in the uh, burgundy, the, the burgundy colored car. If there's damage to that vehicle, it, uh, hopefully it'll be minor damage. Yeah. It, it, we'll, move, we'll move the helicopter around and get a better look at it. Uh, it, it got the rear bumper knocked off. Did you see that driver, though? He, I don't know how he pulled that off. He jumped out of the driver's side window after the accident. Uh, the, it, was, it, was, it was the most bizarre th thing that I had seen in a long time for a pursuit. Just, you know, I, how do you maneuver your way out the driver's side window like that? The door could have opened, but he, uh, he chose to jump out. It does appear he rear-ended a vehicle, and that's what sent him into that, uh, into that bus stop. As we're making our way around, now we can see more damage on there. Uh, they're probably going to call for a, a an, an ambulance, but uh, it doesn't seem like any serious injuries out here. And Stu, at this point, officers, do they just talk to all of the witnesses? What do they normally do when, in your experience at this point? <laughs> They, they, exactly what you said. They will talk to the folks that are here at the end. Uh, they, of course, the, uh, the people inside that uh, burgundy vehicle, they are going to call an ambulance just to make sure that they are okay. Uh, possibly they will be taken to the hospital to be checked out. Uh, these, this, uh, this lady right there, uh, they're probably just going to talk to her, get her statement, get her name, because they might need her later on uh, because of the attempt carjacking. Uh, they did, that person did try that door. Uh, one weapon was recovered. Not sure if it was on that person or in that vehicle, but uh, they're definitely going to talk to her and get her get her information. Some crime tape going up. Hopefully, they'll open up Sunset Boulevard here shortly because Sunset does get busy. Echo Park Bull uh, Boulevard out here, not a major throughway, so uh, probably won't be a traffic issue. But this is going to be a crime scene for quite some time. Two in custody. That's what we know. We're going to, and they are saying that uh, they're they're calling this code four, meaning it's over. So they might not be looking for a third person. I just want for my own, uh, my own peace of mind, I want to know if there was a third person. Looks like there's a, uh, another vehicle that was involved right there. The uh, driver's side door popped open. That might have been what caused all this. There you go. So, uh, there, so a door, a driver's side door uh, tore apart. So he hit that driver's side door. Somebody trying to get out. That door's not going to close, sir. Yeah. And then... Uh, and then losing control, hitting that vehicle, and then ending up in that bus stop. Thank goodness 
there is nobody on that sidewalk. Yeah. And Stu, right. we have some video from earlier that um, our viewers can see right here. You can see at points it got very sticky for this driver and other uh, drivers on the road as this guy was at one point almost hit a red car right there driving on sidewalks, uh, driving on the opposite side of the road. And it started about 345, we believe, uh, up in the Glendale area. And it made it way all the way down here to um, Echo Park. Officers... Oh, at one point you see right here, yeah. looked like he almost uh, possibly crashed into a bus. Did yeah, not. A school bus, mm -hmm. in fact, um, sideswiping a couple of cars. Look at that. The fancy footwork on this, on, mm -hmm. on the, with this car, is incredible. Going at very high rates of speed, um, narrowly missing pedestrians, people in wheelchairs. Um, crossing crosswalks. So a, a pregnant woman in the uh, burgundy vehicle. Oh, oh. Yeah. So we're getting that word from yeah, Stu Mundell that there was a pregnant woman yeah. in that burgundy vehicle. Do we know how how she's doing? Uh, Is she okay? I, I, I'm hoping that she's okay. Oh. I'm, I'm sure we're going to see an ambulance here shortly. If mm -hmm. uh, not in not just a few moments. I'm pretty sure there's a yeah there's a fire station right down the street. So there you go. Some of the first responders uh, from LA City Fire, the paramedics will be here shortly. Uh, the, the first person they're going to talk to is probably going to be that pregnant woman. Uh, mm -hmm. This woman, she might just be shooken up. Uh, mm -hmm. It might have been just a very scary experience. Uh, thank mm -hmm. goodness that door was locked. If that door wasn't locked, things could have really changed up That's quickly. Right. Again, not confirmed. We're trying to. We're, we're, it's a very very fluid situation. We're trying to sort this all out. And and uh, confirm before we blurt. But uh, we do see that uh, that vehicle, apparently somebody trying to get out or maybe trying to get in. And uh, that door was definitely open when that contact happened. And that's what uh, brought this thing to an end here on uh, Echo Park yeah. Boulevard at near Sunset. Uh, you can see that uh, car right into the uh, bus stop. Uh, thank goodness nobody on the sidewalk, nobody in the bus stop. Believe that that is the uh, woman from the Burgundy vehicle. Mm -hmm. And you can see there her very is. shook up just yeah. by her, you know, like the way she's, she's moving around. I think she's on the phone right <laughs> She's now. on the phone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's on yeah. the phone. Indeed. Well, I'm glad she's. she seems to be okay. I'm sure she's really, uh, really mm. shaken up from the whole experience. Um, in case you're just watching us, you're watching... The end of pursuit that has been going on for about an hour now um, okay. through the streets of downtown LA, a very dangerous pursuit of two robbery suspects. You see one of them running out of their car after crashing into a bus stop in the Echo Park area, the Echo Park Sunset uh, Boulevard area. There you see a number of police officers uh, in pursuit of that one person believed to be the driver. They will take mm -hmm. him down momentarily, but these guys, uh, mm -hmm. gosh, they have driven all over downtown LA and uh, risking many lives. And it looks right, right there, you're seeing earlier about five officers, I believe, took down the driver as the passenger uh, ran the other way. Here you see from much earlier, mm -hmm. Looked like the driver and passenger were p tossing things out, possibly clothing, papers. Yeah. I even thought I saw maybe something that looked like a cell phone. Yeah, you had mentioned that. Um, yeah. It looked like it hit hard, but here you see them. They're driving through the streets of L.A. Fast, erratic. Driving on, on the wrong side of the street, on the wrong mm -hmm. side of the freeway. Barely missing cars and passenger um, pedestrians. One slowed down right there and then kept on going, but taking officers yeah. on a ride through downtown L.A. They were not going to be stopped. They were doing everything they can in desperation to get away. And there you see him uh, trying to uh, actually narrowly missing this this uh, the guy who was trying to cross. He was in a wheelchair. Thank goodness he's safe. Thank goodness mm -hmm. so many people uh, we're safe. Yeah. All right. For our KCAL 9 viewers, we will send you back to regular mm -hmm. programming. Um, for But we want to remind you that uh, we will continue our coverage on CBS 2 with Pat Harvey and Jeff mm -hmm. Michael. For Sharon Tay. For, I'm Sharon Tay. Dark green sing. Watch their little brains grow. Uh, it changes everything. From the moment they're born, talk, read, and sing with your child about numbers. Teaching them counting from the fingers on their hand to all the things